Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is the review of my new irons. These are called the Scott Golf irons. I got the combo set. This review is going to be a little different because at first I got them just to do a review of them and I ended up liking them so much that now that I'm doing the review, there's no way for me to really do this review without it sounding like an ad. So I didn't really know how to make this review. So I'm just gonna tell my honest feelings about it because they are in the bag now and I really like them. So if you come over here, Mike, and you can come in close, they're dirty now because I've been playing, but I got the Scoff Goff combo set, which is basically the pitching wedge, the eight iron, the seven iron, the nine iron are blades like that. And then they're more cavity backs or they're not really cavity backs, but they're more uh, perimeter weighted in the five, the four and the six like that. Also with it, I got these shafts, which is a big difference for me to go from steel shafts to these steel fiber shafts. I went to Arizona and I saw three different really good golfers using these irons, uh, Scott Golf irons. They were using actually the all blade ones. So Milo Lyons, I, I talked to him and Milo, I had said to him, hey, like what irons should I look at? Because I'm not happy with my irons anymore. He said, oh, Scott Golf. So it's a small company from Utah that has gotten really popular, at least in my experience, out in that Arizona, Utah area, like a lot of really good players I saw were playing them. So I talked to Scott, who's the owner of Scott Golf, and the first thing he asked me, which I thought was a really interesting question, he said, well, why don't you like your irons? And I had Strixon, he's like, Strixon are really good irons, why don't you like yours? I said, well, it's just like, they're a little too heavy on the way through, and um, I just don't feel like they uh, always carry the same exact distance. And I talked to my friend Mike, who's a club fitter, and we uh, talked. We got my lie angles, and we talked about what a one at, out of an iron. And so I got one degree flat, and everything else on me is very standard. I'm like six one, and I have normal wingspan and everything. So I'm totally standard on my set, except for one degree flat. So I ended up getting the combo set because I wanted to have a little help in the longer clubs. But in the shorter clubs, I wanted like a lot more control than I was getting on my previous irons. So one of the things that makes these clubs different, and it's in the philosophy of how he builds the clubs, is that the gapping is really consistent. The lofts on the Scott Goff irons are like almost like the old lofts. So the pitching wedge is 48 degrees. Now on a lot of the modern clubs, a pitching wedge might be like 44 or 40, even 43 degrees. So this pitching wedge, the loft on this is 48 degrees. What that means is that it is much weaker compared to other lofts of pitching wedges today. Other manufacturers like will have 44 or sometimes even 43 degrees of loft being much stronger and the ball will go really further. And Scott was saying that this, there might be marketing reasons or other reasons where, you know, somebody will go to hit a club at the golf shop and they'll say, wow, I'm hitting this pitching wedge like 150 yards, this is incredible. But he said, if you're a real player and you really wanna have your gappings between all the clubs very consistent, then the, the letter in this case, or the number on the bottom of the club really matters a whole lot less than knowing exactly how far you're gonna hit it all the way through the entire set. So that's the first thing I noticed, that I normally would hit my pitching wedge like 138 or so yards. I hit this pitching wedge like around 132 or 130. But I've been doing some stuff on my swing, especially that stuff that you saw on the channel before with the John Rahm stuff and the functional swing plane stuff. And I've lowered my dynamic loft more, especially on the, this, these lower clubs. So I'm hitting these only, the pitching wedge, only about four or five yards short of my old pitching wedge. And then as it goes up through the set, that difference becomes less and less because I hit the four iron, for example, I hit like about 200 yards and my old four iron, four iron I would hit like 205. So it's, the difference is not as much, but the gapping is much more consistent. All right, so let's just compare the difference between like what is a normal off the shelf iron and then the Scott Goff irons. And then, but first, just to see how extreme it gets, let's just look at the lofts. These are uh, tailor-made stealth irons. So the pitching wedge is a 43 in this set. Going through the set, you can start to see that the gapping starts to get a little uh, inconsistent or a little different, uh, meaning that it's 43 and then it goes to 37 in the nine iron. So that's a six degree difference. And then 32 in the eight, that's a five degree difference. And then a four degree difference and then a three degree difference. The stealth clubs are not really ma meant for somebody who's trying to like shoot really, really low scores. It's more a game improvement club. 
but still it shows the influence maybe of marketing or distance or you know hitting shots certain distances with a certain number on the bottom so if you look at the compared to the scott golf irons which are here you see that the pitching wedge is 48 degrees the nine iron 40 44 40 36 so it's um it's really consistent through the whole set but you can see if you look at the five iron is effectively when you're hitting a five iron stealth you are effectively hitting a three iron with the lofts that they use at scott golf because they want that consistent gapping but let's go like more apples to apples so here are the clubs these are strixon z forged iron so these are uh, a more players club but you know very modern from this year all right so this is a total players club the z forged irons so you'll notice that the pitching wedge is very close to the scott golf still stronger at 46 degrees but uh and everything is a little stronger but you'll notice that i think the a big difference is the gapping so if it it's five degrees going from pitching wedge to nine iron and then it is four degrees and then it's another four degrees another four degrees and then three degrees three degrees three degrees so the scott golf ones are four degrees through the whole set except for the three iron to four iron and i don't even have a three iron so i think that kind of shows the commitment that Scott Goff has to really not caring too much about the number on the bottom at all and it really giving people a super consistent set that will help them like hit the ball the exact number that they want to hit it. So let's go hit some shots and talk a little bit more about what I have going on. These are the ones I got. So just for example, so this is like the more bladed pitching wedge and then this, this is the more perimeter weighted six iron. So you can see the bottom is got has a little bit of mass behind where you would hit it uh, eliminates some of the twisting and they just feel really really great so the way i got it was he asked me but i got it so that the six iron is a perimeter weighted club and then the seven iron is where the blades start so i'll just hit a, a pitching wedge at first it just feels very balanced and like a very much like a scoring players club all of them so it feels like more that sometimes like with my old clubs or other clubs i've had I felt like a real good sense of like like distance control and accuracy with the pitching wedge, the nine iron, the eight iron. But then I felt like the six iron, the four iron, and those clubs were really just kind of putting it in a position. This like you feel like you're scoring and uh, have more of an ability to like throw darts with like all the different clubs. So a pitching wedge. And it just feels like really balanced through. And then I'll hit a six iron. And for me, with these clubs, like they really jump off the face, the, the perimeter ones. They really like, they get launched really quickly. And, uh, but the spin is like real controlled. And I've seen it on the machine. The spin numbers are really good. So I'm gonna hit this with a little bit more of a shape, right to left. That was great. And I feel in general, like I'm shaping it much more easily. And then it's kind of opening up my mind on the golf course where I can start to think like, okay, instead of just trying to put it to a spot, like the whole entire shape of the shot that I'm trying to hit and everything. So if I try to hit a more of a left to right one or a little uh, more of a, a lower and left to right shot. So it kind of opens up my mind more to be a little bit more visual and creative with the shots. Yeah, exactly like that. That was great. Okay, so they're called the Scott Goff Irons. I talked to Scott, and there is a special program that Scott Goff does. They will send you three clubs. I think like the pitching wedge, the seven iron, and the four iron out to you. You can try them and everything. And then if you like them, the cost of that rental will just go into the cost of the set. He ends up sending these out to hundreds of different people just so they can try the clubs and his return rate is very low because once you hit them they're really really fun to hit and it really opens up the golf course in more of a scorer's way they are definitely i think a player's club but i don't know that for sure i'd have to have some higher handicaps try them but all the uh, most of the players that i i know who are using them are pretty good players they also have wedges and they're thinking about coming up with some other stuff but you can get a discount on anything at scoff golf with the promo code be better golf i think you get 10 percent off and the cool thing about it too like here's my wedge over here the cool thing about it as well is that you get any shaft that you want so i didn't review the wedges today but this is uh my 60 degree wedge 
So anything at that website with the promo code BeBetterGolf, you can get any shaft that you want up to like certain uh, out of market, really, really expensive shafts. You can't get like LA Golf, but basically any other shaft you can get put on included. And if you use the promo code BeBetterGolf, you get 10% off as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.